In this video I'm going to show you guys how to make a small oil tanker in Minecraft. Now if you guys are new to the channel at all, we're here to help you build bigger and better, so if that's something you're interested in, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Anyway guys, let's get into the video. Alright then guys, so here we are on my flat tutorial world. So this one is 12 blocks long, it's 5 blocks wide, though you'll notice the actual truck itself is three blocks wide, it's just we've got the wing mirrors and all the other bits and bobs. It's also five blocks high as well. If you guys want to make it in a box, feel free to do so. Uh, if you've got a little tight space or you want to park it or something like that. So in terms of the materials that we're going to need, at least the initial load, we're going to need tons more, of course. We're going to need a block of neverite. Feel free to switch that out for something like black concrete, which we've actually got on the floor this time. Uh, or something like black concrete powder. Um, you could do black wool. You know, there's loads. Um, I quite like the black concrete powder if you want to make it cheaper, if you're doing it in survival anyway. Uh, you're also going to need a stone button, a polished deep slate slab, a polished andesite slab, a black stone slab, a ladder. Now we're going to whack that ladder. Let's whack it on the side of that. Um, you're also going to need a blast furnace as well. That's going to be a little engine block. Deep slate tiles and also polished deep slate stairs. That's going to get us started with this build. So grab yourself all of those. Okay, so if you're building it inside this box, uh, as you can see, I've done a border and I've just got three blocks in the middle. So the first kind of block that we're going to have here is actually going to be signs. It's going to be the number plate and lights. So we're going to go back one and then back another one. All right, and that's going to be your first wheel. Now you're going to leave a one block gap and we're going to place one down there on the other side. Then what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to have a total of five blocks, uh, kind of skipping five blocks, going back one, two, three, four, and five. Then on the sixth block, you're going to have another block, okay? So we've got a five block gap, one, two, three, four, and five there. Put your stone buttons on the outside of those. You can also put item frames on these and like put a, um, what's it called, glass pane on the side. These are this just to kind of give it a little bit of a hubcap kind of thing going on here. With your polished deep slate slab now, we're going to add one right in between those right there. Three on the front of this one. We're also going to have three on the back, one, two, three. Now switch over to your polished andesite slab, and we're going to have that on the side, not the middle, all right? So we're going to go one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four, but not the middle. So what we're going to do with the middle? Well, it's going to be our black stone slab, of course. So we're going to have that, bring that all the way to your wheels. Then what we're going to do is we're going to have one in the middle, then three across the back. So it's sticking out. So you can see this little gap that we've got here. Just a little block gap. That'll give you the base of the truck. So next up, we'll go to the front. And that's where we've got our polished deep slate slabs. And we're going to have a blast furnace right at the front there. That's our little engine. Whack on a ladder. Don't have to do the ladder. It's just it adds a little bit of a different type of grill. Hopefully one day we get some sort of like metal ladder or something. Who knows? Maybe we will. Maybe we won't. Um, also, with your deep slate slab. Oh, not deep slate slab. Deep, deep slate tiles. Put that on the side. All right, this just adds a little bit of a different texture to the front of it. With your polished deep slate stairs now, we're going to have an upside down over the wheel that we've got here. And of course, we're going to do the same on the other side. Try not to hit your blast furnace like I did. <laughs> there we go. Right. Now what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to leave this block. So leave that one. Leave this one. But we are going to have an upside down deep slate stair, so polished deep slate stair right here. So that's right on that one there. So leave one of those, leave one of those, uh, or leave one of those, leave one of those, get that. This is gonna go back a total of six and you should end up being on top of this one there. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. So six blocks in total or six stairs in total. So we're gonna do the same on the other side now. One, two, three, four, five, and six, like that there. Now we are going to do some weird stuff now. We're going to put a block on the back here. Okay, just any block, doesn't really matter. And put your polished deep slate stairs on top of that, just like normal. Then we can actually get rid of this because we're not going to need it. Need it. It's going to be, need to be the one of those. But it means we're done with that block at least. So you can, you know, just throw it away. For your next set of blocks, you're going to need a gray skulker box. Also a white skulker box. We're going to need a polished black stone button. Gray stained glass a lever, black stained glass pane, you can hardly see, um, a smooth quartz slab, smooth quartz stair, and a smooth quartz block. So grab yourself those ones. Those are going to be our next lot, okay? 
So we'll start off with the grey skulker box. We're going to be at the front now. And we're going to have one. This is going to actually be... I'm going to place down. Let's actually not start with that. Let's put the smooth quartz block in uh, at the back right here. So we're going to have just a little one block little cab here. Then with the skulker box, we're going to have this pointing outwards. So we get this kind of texture. That's what we want. So that texture there like that. Then with the white skulker box, we're going to place this on top. Now, of course, when you click it, it's going to open it. So you can do sneak and you can do click and that's going to be on top. And we want this little texture here, this little kind of bit. It's more like a door kind of handle, all right? So whack that on top like that there. Now, with our smooth quartz block, we can now place that on top of that one there. We can also do three across the top like that. There we go. So we've got three blocks across the top. Now what we'll do guys is we'll switch over to our uh, grey stained glass and we're going to have that going around this front part right here, okay? So we've got glass just going around there. Then with our lever we're going to place that on that deep slate tile block that we had. Then a black stained glass paint sticking out there. That's our nice little wing mirrors. Love them. Put that in there. Put on your lever just like that. Now we've got our wing mirrors. With your smooth quartz slab we're going to have that going across the front of this one here. Then we're going to have an upside down smooth quartz stair over that glass bit right there. Now it's up to you, you can either do a block or you can do a slab. Straight up to you. I mean, it depends if you want to see this like little gap at the top or you just want it all completely solid. Let's do for this one, we'll do a slab because this one is completely solid. Totally up to you guys, it doesn't really make that much difference. And of course with our polished blackstone button, we're just going to place that on the side here on that white skulker box so place that on there like that next up what we're going to need guys is a cauldron mangrove fence anvil mangrove fence gate iron trap door you're going to need a couple of these smooth quartz stairs smooth quartz block polished deep slate and a stone button again good old stone buttons we love them so here we go. So we're going to move, I guess, front to back. That would be the most logical way, wouldn't it? So we're going to have the cauldron right at the back here. On top of that, we're going to place our anvil. Then what we're going to do is on the side here, we're going to have two mangrove fences going up. So two mangrove fences going up. At the top right here, we're going to have a mangrove fence gate. We're actually going to punch this one towards the back of the truck. So punch that in there like that. With our polished deep slate block now, we're going to go into the middle of this. You could, of course, use a slab here if you wanted to make it look interior-wise like it's kind of can hold liquid, or you could even put liquid in it if you wanted to put water in it. Uh, but for me, I don't really mind. Uh, at the back here, we're going to fill in this as well. So we're going to have three going across there. One right in the middle as well, like that. Okay. Now, for my design, I actually, as you can see here, I've got black and then I've got the white kind of stripe. You can, of course, mix up colors if you guys want to, you know, go crazy with this thing. That's what I'm going to be doing with this design as well. I'll be changing it up a little bit. But for this pattern, we're going to have two on the side here, two on the side here. Three blocks of your smooth quartz now, like that. Right in the middle of this one, smooth quartz block. Now we're on to stairs and we're just going to have our smooth quartz stairs going all the way back on the side of this one all the way back on the side of that one in the middle we're just going to have a block of a smooth quartz block and then smooth quartz on the top there like that okay then with your iron trapdoor on the front of the truck's cab we're just going to have iron trapdoors at the top here just gives it a little bit more of a kind of smoother angle there uh, at the top here as well we're going to have one block back we're going to have an iron trapdoor it's like a little entrance into into the actual tanker itself you know makes a lot of sense Right, so for your stone buttons, we're going to have those at the back here. So plonk these on around this like that. And we're also going to need to grab a lever. Okay, so grab yourself a lever like that there. Next up then, guys, we're going to need to grab ourselves a spruce sign, dark oak sign, grab yourself a glow ink sack, and also some grey dye to go with that. Now, up to you guys with this bit. You can even have bamboo buttons as the lights on the front, just on either side. Whoops, doesn't help if I... Uh destroy the whole thing but you can have bamboo buttons like that or what you can do is you can use a glow item frame on either side here uh, and you can either leave it as that or you can also put in and like something like an ochre frog light also looks pretty good on the front i'm going to leave this one like that and that one like that for me i use a lot of shaders so this is the preferred option because it's just less laggy these uh item frames are super laggy so yeah drives me nuts um anyway on the front here with your spruce sign we're going to have these either side of this and also right at the front 
And then if you guys can, if you could do uh, write down my name, that'd be awesome. Uh, I kind of use this not so much as a number plate, although it of course is a number plate, but I kind of use it to uh, credit anybody. If I use anybody's designs, I always use this as the way to do that. So then you can put the glow ink sack on that and also switch that to gray dye. It just makes it a little bit more muted. Um, I just wanted to make this one in particular a bit more, or a bit less, even <laughs> a bit less uh, bright. But it's totally up to you guys. You could also have it with the white as well if you wanted to. Right, coming along to the side now, where we've got these slabs here, we're going to place our uh, spruce signs. So we're just going to have spruce signs on these. Going all the way across. I love that we can now edit spruce signs after placing them. So we've got six of those, haven't we? Five of those even, right? Then what I'm going to do with this is I put equal signs on the top row and also on the bottom row like this. I then made it glow and put on the grey dye like that. So yeah, guys, whip through this on both sides. So you might want to pause the video now while you do it. And after a little bit of work, you guys should have this. Nice. So now grab yourself your dark oak sign. Again, you can use whatever you want. Depends on the color of this kind of back piece, or you can even color the uh, cap as well. Feel free to change it up. I'm gonna have a two block gap right here. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a dark oak sign. And what I did with mine is I actually split my name up. So I had Daka and I had oil here like that. But of course you can't see it really. So I just put a glow ink sack on there. And that just makes it stand out. Feel free to come up with your own brands or, you know, if you want to take inspiration from real brands in the real world, feel free to go and do that. So there we go. You can put whatever you guys want on the side. That'd be cool. And then you do the opposite, of course, on this side. I say the opposite, still the same uh, kind of placement. It's just that obviously the words are the opposite way around. And then we do the same thing there like that. Then the kind of like final little bit is just to put on the number plate at the back. That's all we've got to do. So again, if you guys can credit me, that would be amazing. I'd really appreciate it. It just helps uh, people find my channel, which uh, is all good. So there we go. In this case, I actually had this one as white. I didn't even put it gray. But if you wanted to put it gray and make it more muted, you can do. But there we go, guys. That is it for the small oil tanker. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this one. If you have, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And as always, guys, I'll see you on the next one.